Hello and welcome. I'm talking about the top seven knockouts of Muhammad Ali, one of the best boxing legends ever. Number seven would be a knockout versus Carl Mildenberger, as actually as well you may see. He was only doing one two one two one two. Mildenberger went to the ground many times, even one round. It was three knockdowns. Referee really had no choice but to stop uh, this fight. Actually, you see, Ali was dancing around him, not letting him do anything. But sleeping from Muhammad Ali's attacks is almost a mission impossible. He dropped his hands. You see how many strikes to the head. It's simply unbelievable how many strikes he has received. Referee has stopped it. So, on the place uh, 6, there is a wonderful knockout versus Floyd Patterson. Because you see here. Patterson was trying to hit him, he was sleeping, but no way. Ali was a lot longer guy, Ali was a lot faster guy. Ali was a guy that was showing him that much, that was striking him, that showed him the best uh, choice he ever had. You see how many uppercuts, how many slips with the primary hand, with his left hand, what a good control, and referee has really stopped that fight. And Muhammad Ali has really shown that he is a guy that knows to appreciate that much uh, his wonderful uh, left uh, hand. Number 5. That's a knockout versus Jimmy Ellis. See how he was dancing around him and he made him uh, a wonderful choice but by pushing him to the ropes and uh, he just had a pure choice with those uppercuts and combos. Ali was just dancing around him. He was doing the thing uh, he knows the best. He knew to dance. That was his style. Ali's style was basically dedicated to his dancing, to his opponent, irritation, to drop guard. And we come to number 4. Number 4 is a knockout versus Floyd Patterson. You see Floyd Patterson <coughs> dropping his guard, but Ali with wonderful counters. This right hand lands. Patterson actually got up a few times as well as you may see he got up but he should uh, stay down there see Ali was in pure domination during this fight during this round this again he dropped down I got to say that this guy Patterson impressed me that much with his wonderful upstandings with his tries to stay on his feet but I just don't know, referee had to stop the fight here, really. He had no choice. Number 3. Well, this is a fight versus Jürgen Blin. Jürgen Blin impressed me because he was one of the first white guys that were able ever to challenge Muhammad Ali. A guy from Germany, you see, after that direct shot he really had nothing to lose. He had no choice. I didn't put a knockout versus Sonny Liston because I I think this knockout was a pure setup, at least uh, by my thoughts this was a pure setup and there's no reason to place a setup. Number 2. This is a knockout versus Brian London. You see this is from Ali's younger days. You see that type of barraging. He was throwing 5, 6 or even 7 punches. The fastest guy ever in the world of boxing. This is the reason why I loved Ali so much. And number 1. Maybe not the best KO, but most impressive versus George Foreman. George Foreman was a tough contender then, a guy that was pretending to the title, but Ali was challenging him. He was saying that he is nothing. He even got few warnings for talking, but George Foreman never got up after this strong hook that happened in Kinshasa. He promoted boxing. And these were top seven knockouts of Muhammad Ali, I got to say, the most impressive guy ever in the world uh, of boxing.